this family. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, before when Stacey needed to meet Pete, and I say, Puha, she get on mad because she's gonna be yourself. I'll be like, Puha, Puha. <laughs> I've never had to pee so bad in my entire life. Alright, so let me tell you guys about what's happened within the last 24 hours. It's been a complete mess. Um, well, right now we are currently at a water park and I can't really have some fun because your girl is on the time of the month and it really sucks. Like I said, we did rent a second Airbnb and it's actually a ranch. It's a, it was like two stories, humongous place. Um, fit our entire family, there was a, like extra space and whatever. And um, as we checked out from the beach house and we were on our way to the ranch house in Tijuana, uh, basically your girl got scammed. It really sucks. Um, I don't know how Airbnb kind of let this location be listed anyways. So this was on a dirt road, which was expected because it is Mexico. Everything's not really as, um, not everything's paved and it's not, it's not the United States. That's what I'm trying to say. But the dirt road was through a bunch of hills and the hills were like really steep. Our car got stuck on the way there. Our cars were not made for it. The only type of car that would be able to go up there are trucks. And we don't have trucks. We have a little Toyota Camry and we have a little Mercedes. We couldn't arrive to the location. So I did message the guy and I told him like, hey, like our cars are made for these hills. Like we're trying to get there. No response to this. I did call him just to make sure I was going to the correct location through my sister's boyfriend's phone. And he kept calling him nonstop. Three to four hours after I messaged him about our situation with the cars. So we just, we, we gave up. We just went back. We left. And I told him like, hey, like you should be telling us giving us a heads up that hey you need a truck to get to this location because it's not correct so that being said i'm filing a dispute with airbnb right now trying to get my refunds back we were scrambled all over the place yesterday we we're trying to figure out where we're going to stay for the night because we had no place to stay um everyone was bickering it was a huge mess i was freaking crying my eyes out because i felt like i, did, I let everyone down and it was just a mess on top of that like i said it's the time of the month so that was not helping the situation i was more emotional i was very pissed off it was a mess yesterday was the whole day was a mess yesterday was ruined um, but i feel like i should have done so much better on my part i could have done my research but yet again like it doesn't it didn't matter how much research i did because i did look at the reviews i tried to compare the map as best as i can to see like where the location was at but there was no way in how I knew there these hills were gonna be so steep that we couldn't get there but yeah so yesterday was a mess and then right now we are at a water park you're not gonna see a lot of footage from the our third day in Mexico because now you know it was just a mess what is one word you would describe yesterday um uh... She's still getting ready. Where's Ricardo? Oh. I'm the <laughs> I'm the most beautiful man in the world right now. 
And this vlog is over. Goodbye.